Greetings and salutations. Welcome to my amazing show. Once again, I'm your host, the Great Money Mr. Perez, and today I'll be playing more of the Outer Worlds. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. So yeah, I did some, um, I did a couple side quests off stream, and in the process, I found the trigger for the first expansion of this game, uh, Power of Gorgon. So I figured I'll go ahead and uh, do that. You know, before I get into, uh, Moto of, uh, let me see, Airy Downos. Yeah, let's start with the first expansion. What's this package? A hand? And... Hawthorne, I'm forgetting this. Something's happened to me. Uh-oh. Got mixed up in some shady business on Gorgon. Should've known better. But I landed on something big. And now this job's an itch, plus. I can't stop scratching. Hmm. There's a whole research compound left to the Sprats. I think I'm close to figuring out why. But something dangerous is closer to me. Got the job through one mini Ambrose. Top runger who just came into some money and was offering a hefty bid card for qualified help. Trust me, her money's good. Oh, okay, that's good. Talk to At me. Least. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. Consider us even, old pal. I'm glad we kept a well, hand on the thing. That fellow certainly seemed trustworthy. I've gotten jobs from some unusual sources, but this is a first. Congratulations, Captain. Yeah, nice. Isn't I don't it? mean to sound prim, Captain, but there's gotta be a better way to ask someone to do you a favor. I just wanna say, we gotta take this job. This is the closest I ever been to starring in a serial drama. Only thing we're missing is a couple of cameras and a soundtrack. At least I this think we covered on the soundtrack part. Nice of him to show the tip. Captain, the message contains landing coordinates for a small asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. It was recently registered to a Wilhelmina Ambrose. Who was this guy? He was an old friend of Alex Hawthorne's. Yeah, I get that. Lucky but... Montoya had a statistically significant tendency to encounter situations of extreme danger. He liked to show off his battle scars. I get the feeling he won't be flashing this one around. He was also the fourth best paid freelancer in the system. Oh, okay. Sounds promising. This had less correlation with his measured aptitudes, which rank at or below average, than with a pattern of fortunate circumstances. So, luck. Luck does not exist, Captain. Nevertheless, I am programmed to agree with your assessment. I have transferred yeah, I mean, of the course, for Ambrose should be, I wouldn't understand the me. intricate concept of luck. When you are ready. Like a thief, for instance. But alright. Let's head over to Gorgos. I think that's where I need to go. Yep. Oh. Gorgon. Yeah, that's what I meant. 
Anyway, let's head over there. Remember that you are. Uh, let's see, who should I take along with me? Oh, dear. Come on, Sam. <laughs> this will be fun. Welcome to Ambrose Manor. We were not expecting company. Please follow. Do not stray from the path. Okay. Oh, that's no fun. Well, I am getting close to level 21, so I should be alright. <laughs> and I got this cool-ass pistol, too. It's actually really good. But alright. Here we go. Okay, maybe not. Hmm. Dusty. I like to think I'm lucky. You? Captain of the Unreliable. You don't say. Jerry Seinfeld. Well, make yourself at home, Captain. I'm sure we have much to discuss. Okay. Do you see that glowing chunk of space rock? That's Gorgon. My birthright. My burden. And the bane of my existence. I hate to drink alone. And this is my third. So join me in raising a glass. To Gorgon. To Gorgon. To Gorgon. May cosmic winds shepherd her to the nearest star. I might as well play along. I'm Wilhelmina Ambrose. But you can keep it short and call me Minnie. Good, because I'm not going to remember what that. what brings you to my house, handsome? I take it you didn't come all this way for the beverages, the starry skies, or the pleasant company. I'm here about a severed arm. A severed arm? How positively ghoulish. You know this is a private residence, not a curio shop. Does the name Lucky Montoya mean anything Lucky to you? Lucky Montoya is my personal freelancer. Fascinating man. Very brooding and theatrical. Always staring into space and twirling a bullet over his knuckles. Well... He's definitely he's not dead. doing that anymore. <laughs> but if something happened to him... Oh dear... I suppose that makes him my former freelancer now. So, any idea who might have wanted him killed? You suspect foul play. Interesting. If we're being honest, I haven't given it much thought. What a time for his luck to run out. We were in the middle of something grand, and I really can't afford another setback. So you need someone to finish whatever luck he started. Excellent deduction. I can tell I found the right man for yep, the job. I should have figured. How would you like to be my new freelancer? There's been a recent vacancy, and I think you're well suited to the job. Remember, play hard to get. That's negotiation. Hmm. I'm looking for someone rough around the edges. A gorgeous, dashing scoundrel type. Hmm. Incidentally, someone That sounds good a lot like hands. me. And I'm also really good with my hands, too. How likely am I to wind up like the old freelancer? The man lost an arm. What are the odds of that happening twice? Uh, I don't want to lose of both course, my Morgan arms. Of course, is a treacherous place. And my own family's involvement with it has been fraught. Allow me to lay out the facts. And you can decide for yourself if you want to be my chief investigator. My mother, Dr. Olivia Ambrose, worked for Spacer's Choice at the Gorgon Research Facility. She was brilliant. Seems like a well-paying job. The top scientist in her field. Until tragedy struck. I mean... <laughs> Space's choice is one big accident waiting to happen. I wish I could say otherwise. But you can't. Because you choice know I'm shut right. shut down all research and evacuated Gorgon. Everyone had to scramble or risk getting left behind. It was chaos. Employees fled for their lives. Mother... Never made it home. I'm told hmm. she wasn't the only casualty that fateful day. Mother's name has since been dragged through the mud. Spacer's Choice blames her for the collapse of Project Gorgon, and I just know they're lying. So, 
Sounds like she was the corporation's patsy. My thoughts exactly. Mother would not have allowed Project Gorgon to fail. Something happened on that asteroid, and my family took the fall for it. What do you think happened on Gorgon? I don't know. And Spacer's Choice won't say. They don't discuss anything that tarnishes their brand. Shocking. Gorgon has a dark history. The project fell apart. Personnel were shuffled across the system. With Mother gone, now I'm all that's left. So was your father. Father lost more than his job on Gorgon. I'll say no more than that. Okay, he's dead the too. The asteroid may look like a glittering jewel, but I assure you the resemblance ends there. Gorgon is poisonous to the core. One might even say cursed. Where do we get started? Start where all of this began. With Mother. Whatever happened on Gorgon wasn't Mother's fault. I simply need the evidence to prove oh, it. Oh, so you think it was a We're setup? Going to drag okay. It through, kicking and screaming into the light. Even if it means bringing ruin and humiliation to Spacer's choice. All the evidence I need should be in Mother's journal. You can find it in her office on Gorgon, in the heart of the old research facility. Don't worry, Spacer's choice is hiding something, then I'll get to the bottom I of it. I believe you're the first person to ever side with me against the corporation. It's a refreshing change. When you reach Gorgon, pack a weapon you trust. The corporate lockdown hasn't stopped the wilderness from squirming in through the cracks. What can I expect to face in Gorgon? I've never understood why, but Gorgon is teeming with marauders. Oh, I gotta take marauders. They Easy. They drawn to sorrow and misfortune. Then there's the test subjects. Those who survived, anyway. Oh. Ravenous creatures left behind like so much salvage. Hmm. Alright, I'll be careful. There's a little saloon near Gorgon's landing pad. The Sprat Shack. Lucky was renting a room. So if you want to follow his trail, that would be the place to start. Sprat I think Shack. I've heard of that place. Cheap whiskey, rough crowd. You'll love it. Sweet. Just so we understand each other, money is no object. I'm willing to squander the family fortune if you get me what I want. I like the Between sound of that. And any salvage you happen across, you'll walk away from this rich enough to buy a mansion of your own. How does that sound? You know... That sounds like music to my Finally, ears. I get to put my inheritance to work. Here's not like I have a ton of money captain. already, but still. Safe travels. All right. Oh yeah. Um, I guess I'm sorry Spacer's about your mother. Choice should be the one apologizing, but thank you, sincerely. A word of advice before you go, Captain. Trust no one. Mother's office is in the heart of the Gorgon facility. You're free to salvage anything that isn't nailed down. I only want what's mine. It's not theft if she's giving us permission. SAM units cannot perform any jobs that have not been accepted by the registered customer. Don't worry, Sam, I got this. Okay, that's a... Suction nozzle not attached. This unit is unprepared for specialized eradication procedures. Good thing I am. Uh... 
Officially acknowledge your works. I wonder why. I got supplies if you need them. No one lasts long on Gorgon unprepared. You looking for supplies? Let me know. So this is Gorgon. You mean you came out to this asteroid without trouble is if you wander off to somewhere you oughtn't be like way out in gorgon's farthest reaches odds are slimmer of your bits finding their way to my pockets if you want my advice stick close to the sprat shack unless you fancy having your limbs torn off and eaten or just torn off i can handle All myself right you know you better than i do damn right i just do just be sure you watch out for the marauders that's the number one thing oh and the manse. You Mance. watch out for marauders, manse, and Charles from accounting, and Wh you'll probably be fine. What's wrong with Charles? Anyway, what do you got? Down to pick up. Hmm. Man, this stuff is weak. All right. Let's head up. In we go. Come here. Let's... All right, okay. inspection time. Look at my eyes for as long as you can without blinking. Starting now. Good. Look up. Now look down. Thank you. Got him from my mother. You're doing swell. Now, hey, that worked. Name and occupation. Jerry Seinfeld, captain at the Good Unreliable. Enough for me. You're cleared to pass. Oh, okay. That was okay. a sanity check. If you had changed like the others, it'd be in your eyes. You'd also be drooling, cursing, and making a mess of the place. Welcome to the Sprat Shack. You can head on downstairs. What do you mean people have changed? Every day, salvagers and scrappers set out to comb the ruins and make their fortune. The ones who come back... They aren't always the same men or women who left. They change. Never for the better. Well. What happens when they change? First they get real twitchy and paranoid, shouting at folks who aren't there. Then they smell like they soiled themselves, on account of how they soiled themselves. After that, they're gone. Nothing but animals wearing human skin. Seen it happen myself. It's never pretty. All right. Watch yourself. Smell that? Cheap whiskey and stale cigarettes. My kind of place. Oh yeah, let me just uh. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Take some of that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Welcome to the Sprat Shack. What's First up? one's on the house, and I won't even water it down. What'll it be? Vodka. Bottoms up. So, I got any I leads? I did. I ain't supposed to play favorites. Most of my regulars are sublight scavengers. They pick over the ruins of Gorgon, spend their earnings at the bar, and uh, head back out the next day. Vicious cycle, but that's life. You're the first new face I've seen in a while. You know anyone by the name of Lucky Montoya? Lucky? Sure, I knew him. He could get a little dramatic at times, but he was I a good tell. guy. Heard he took on a dangerous job. Spent a lot of time coming and going from the Office of Creative Incubation, just down the road. Creative Incubation? That's where the top rungers at Spacer's Choice came up with slogans of marketing. Ah. Lucky never told me why it was so important. Of course. Uh, awful shame about what happened to him. So, um, what did happen you to him? really want to hear my story? <laughs> Lol. Most everyone around here is sick to death of it by now. Last I, mean, I, I saw just come Lucky here. was a few days ago. I went outside for a smoke and a stroll, and I saw this wild canid dragging a bloody limb. 
so I kicked the cane and scared it off. Anyway, what, what was he staying? Third floor. Once I figured he wasn't coming back to pay his tab, I left his room unlocked to air it out. You can help yourself to anything you left behind. Oh, thanks, Fair I will. Morning. I've been letting the regulars use it for a quick lie down. Just wash your hands when you're done. Boo. Trust me. All right, I'll, uh... Come back when you... I'll look around. A third floor, huh? Let's see. I wouldn't get too close to that railing. Just in case. Yeah, I could probably fall and die. Uh, I'll take that. Some of this. Bit of that. Hold, huh? Ah! Oops, in a hurry. Let's see. Uh, sold me a key. It worked. That's good. OCI. Crying with Marauders. Could be nothing. 4815. Hmm. Perfect. And I leveled up too. That works for me. Let's see here. Let's do that, that, and that. Bit of that, some of this and that. Okay. Uh, let me see here. All right, Sam. What can we do? That one. All right. Someone's in here. Oh, oh, it's coming back up again. Oh, that's a bathroom. What have you got there? Adrena time. Jerome would love this place. Hmm. Nothing in here. You're a humbug, Trixie. All right. Let's go explore. Here we go. No. The problem was that he was up. Where do I go? There. Always okay. overconfident in himself. But us? We got this. Whatever it is. Setting clean mode to sensitive care. Yeah, you do that, Sam. Whatever happened here, we're not going to be next. Be ready. It was good to bring Sam along. Come 
don't like this gun. Isn't it? Hmm. I'll take that. Be it of that. Let me just, uh, oh, I equipped it, my mistake. That's decent. Yeah, all right. Flip that. Drug addiction? Nah. This reminds me of the punchline to a joke I heard. There we go. This area has been sanitized. Ah, and that's where we need to go. Sweet. But we were talking about something. Oh, right. This reminds me of the punchline to a joke I heard once. You know what's a joke, customer? What we make out of the dirty competition. No other auto mechanical unit simultaneously sanitizes, neutralizes, dices, and slices, and removes. Initiating ocular measurement. All right. Measurement complete. Ocular identification complete. So that's what the eyes for. Welcome, okay. Clarence. Mostly. Access granted. Mostly. Welcome to the office of create. All right. In we go. Let's see what kind of silly things they come up with in here. Sparkly. Hmm. The incident. Don't let anyone into the upper floor. Hmm. That sounds suspicious. I want to see what's up on the upper floor. They really think Adrena Time does all that? Keep your eggs steady and your trigger finger at the ready. Proudly located in the bloodstream of the entire spacer. Don't let sleep rob you of your life. Resting hours in half and double your productivity with Adrena Time. Show your boss that you are prime because you take a dream of time. Uh-huh. Oh, too much stuff. Ooh. That is really strong. Okay, let's put that up. Mm, shit. Okay, I'll hold on to that. Cause I like this. Oh yeah, that's right. I was supposed to clear stuff from my inventory. Um.
There we go. I'll just take these off their hands. Alright, let's go upstairs. Okay. Nothing back here. Hmm. What's in here? Hmm. Nah, I didn't keep that gun. Slice bread, huh? There we go. Good job, Sam. This body has not been disposed of in a board-approved waste receptacle. Printing citation ticket 9554-PKF. Yeah, Best you do that, Sam. You pay for with Space Restore's guards too. Precisely. All right, let's see. Huh? 6x scoop. You know, this seems interesting. Let's get that. Dirt alert! Dirt alert! Showered with Competition. Take your best shot, asshole. I want to see how strong is this machine gun. Hmm, it's a big clip.
pretty strong. Well, they're kind of weak sports though, I don't really like that. Yeah, I keep it with that. That's good. Oh wait, there was a terminal back here. Let's see. Um, take that. We got. Hmm. Auditorium projector room must remain sealed, huh? Interesting. Auditing. Nothing this quarter. Okay. Require self cleaning. Hmm. Right? Where did they come from, Dr. Ambrose? <clears throat> they come from Tartarus, don't they? They do. Why the reluctance? Providing life affirming employment to the indigent, the criminal, the criminally indigent. Well, that's a social good, don't you agree? I have a staff meeting to attend. Excuse me. Let's see. Yeah, sweet, isn't it? Okay, let's see. Uh, let's do... There we go. Okay, I need to get upstairs somehow. There we go. I'll take that. Ah, here's the stairs. Huh? 
executive level jobs require SAM units more time to complete. Hmm. Open that. see deleted messages. I bet those will be saucy. Oh well. I knew I heard a little weasel sniffing about. Uh oh. You best go back the way you came. There's nothing for you here. Whatever this is about, know that I don't respond to threats. Nah. If you're about to issue me a dire warning, you can eat it. I understand that you think yourself a big hero. Because I am. On a big, important job. The last one did too. Oh, you mean but lucky, you huh? Grossly misapprehended the situation here. This place is a graveyard. All that was done here should be forgotten and left to rot. You're hiding something. I'll find it out. Gorgon is the birthplace of Marauders. We created them here, in this very facility. Oh, that's where they came they from. They are our misbegotten children, born of hubris and vanity. But Marauders are just mindless lunatics, right? There can't be more to it than that. They hold no fondness for trespassers. I've placed the facility under emergency lockdown to keep them safe. Let the Marauders die in peace, or I will make certain that you die with them. Nah, I'll make him die of agony. We'll hide to find a Juno. Marauders are no problem. The only thing responsible for more deaths than Marauders is factory accidents. But I take your point. Still, something about the idea of someone creating them makes my skin crawl. Let's be careful. We'll root him out. Wait, how, how strong is the shotgun? Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's about the same. Yeah, it's about the same. By the way, how much damage does it do? Okay, 69 over 8 shells. Nah. My assault rifle is still stronger. find someone. Telling us not to go digging. I could. Yeah, so let's go digging. See if we can find something saucy in here. I think this comms tower is going to lead us to someone with answers or more warnings and riddles. I'm hoping this leads us to someone we can talk with face to face or punch if it comes to that. Well, I'm sure we can improvise.
Hmm. It's quiet. Hmm. Yep. There's a marauder right there. Security checkpoint. Okay. Alright. Now, what's behind here? Ooh. Hmm. the stash, huh? What's this new gun? Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? All right. Really think Spacer's Choice made marauders out of all these people? I don't know. But we're gonna find out. Yet. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. I'll take some of that. Byzantium. Oh, the Musker collection. Okay. Let's do that. Look at this one next, but for right now, more carrying capacity. Yeah, that's useful.
Yeah, that's the same helmet I have. Alright. Forgot to sell the junk I have. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, I'll clip that. Thanks for the rest of this stuff. There. I clean up my inventory. Sam says, let your auto mechanical do the dirty work while you keep your hands clean. Why do I have a feeling we're not going to like what's in there? Because it won't be anything good. week oh I need to get in there okay there we go ah elevator that'll do the trick Oh shit, wait. Okay. I guess I do need to go off world. Okay. 
Terra 2, huh? Oh. Alright. Captain, transmission request from Ambrose Manor. I guess she wants an update. Captain! Imagine my surprise when I saw the unreliable leaving Gorgon with so much urgency and purpose. Tell me you found Mother's journal. I'm positively dying for good news. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> someone wanted me to stay away from Gorgon, then lock the place down. Someone? You mean someone still has access to the facility? Oh, after all this time. Oh, who was it? Oh, I don't know. Someone with an old someone with an old grudge. That doesn't narrow it down by much, but I think you're on to something. Yeah, that's Make probably sure the best guess I have the back currently. Of I doubt we've seen the last of this human vexation. If I know Spacer's choice, getting past the lockdown will be more complicated than just hitting a big red button. You'll need authorization and layers of it. I don't suppose your mother left you any passwords or mysterious no. keycards. I think you're going to have to rely on good old fashioned detective work. It's a good, well, good thing, thing I just played King Sherlock Senses, Holmes. A reliable ship and a very wealthy sponsor. Did you know that Gorgon was developing adrenaline time? I knew Mother was involved with some important chemical trials, but I had no idea her pet project was Adrena time. Adrena time is a working man's stimulant, like a caffeinoid, very popular at launch, though the marketing quieted down over time. Were you aware that Adrenatine created Marauders? What? No. I mean, there's some very morbid wording in the fine print, but I had no idea Adrena Time could make Marauders out of people. Because they did. That's it. That must be it. Spacer's Choice is keeping their dirty little secret about Adrena Time off the record. We have to find Mother's Journal. If we don't, then Spacer's Choice gets away with murder. I only hope we aren't too late. Anyway, I should Safe be off. Travels. If your leads give you any trouble. <laughs> yes. That's the. Sp Let's go. I need a word. Uh, what's up? Since we're in Byzantium, there's something I've been meaning to do. What's that? I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while. Shocking, right? I suppose anyway, so. Anyway, it's probably about time I paid them a visit. Given the dangerous life I lead, they've got to be worried sick. Let me know how I could help. Whoa, let's calm down. I'm not asking for a favor or anything. It seems like you are. I'm just suggesting we stop by. When we're in the neighborhood. See, I'm originally from Byzantium. Born and raised. I know that probably comes as a big surprise. Really? I never would have guessed. This is why I have to see them. They'll hardly recognize me. Of course you should reconnect with your parents. Reconnect is a strong word. And, uh, I was thinking you'd come too. Okay. Great. And when we get there, draw out your rough edges a bit. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some blood stains, wear that one. I'll take care of dressing myself. You're the boss. Anything else? Let's go. Ooh, okay. Are you still tinkering with that? It's not gonna Ah, a workbench. Let's see what I could do here.
Yeah, let's do that. And that. Make this corrosive. I'm curious. That's enough tinkering. Oh, actually, I simply do that with my armor. I'll tinker this a bit. Yeah, tinkered. Sweet. Hmm, that's sealed. Here we go. Famous. You got. Pr I like what this Tell is going. You what, you're gonna like it a whole lot more. Listen, Nim. You I consider myself three lines. Fresh natural talent. I know it when I see it. Listen, you got a real spec. What you offering? I'm making a feature. Space pirates of moral. Ooh, I gotta be star. It's gonna be a, a star of a movie, but huh? We still. Not so fast. First, we gotta talk about royalties. Yeah. Let's just see where this. So what do you say? I'm in. Terrific. We're holding auditions at the studio. Okay. According to local legend, if you walk around the orrery three times, your corporate rival will die of a paper cut. I think I'd get arrested if I climbed up on that to get a look at the gearing. Who knows? Meh, probably just shot. <laughs> Yeah, that seems like the uh, more reasonable option. How the hell? Oh, there's a bridge. That doesn't work. So. Oh. oh, okay. That works. There we go. Cool and good. Here we go. Welcome to the Musgrave family collection. Still a work in progress. 
Yeah. I'll tell you what I've told all the other guards. If you're here for the annual Canid review, I'm afraid it's already over. Oh. Only thing going on behind those doors is good, old-fashioned, lawful behavior. This greeting constitutes your confidentiality agreement. You hereby agree not to disclose the location or existence of these events. Oh. Thank you for cooperating. Sounds good to me. Oh, that's just so encouraging to hear. Now then. I'm looking for Mr. Clarence. Mr. Mostly is indeed attending our event, although I am disappointed to discover he did not officially enter his canid Laplace into our competition. Ah. You should find Mr. Mostly just inside the prep room. Head inside and take the door to your left. Okay. Stuff. There you are. Do you know the interesting thing about canid shows? No, but I have a feeling you're about to tell me. Good instincts. <laughs> Mathematically speaking, the interesting thing about canid shows is this. They're an exercise in futility. Winning is predetermined. Over time, the inevitable trend is that the race goes to the swift. Time and chance are just statistical outliers. In other words, if you put enough canids through enough trials, the one with the most optimal attributes generally wins. Exercise in futility. Why are you telling me this? Though I've been told I should try to socialize more. Sharing uh, an interesting fact well, that's is a your idea method of endearing oneself to a stranger. I'm an actuary, you see. Well, not entirely. The actuarial sciences are more of a passion than a profession. So I suppose that makes me mostly an actuary. That's a bit of a family joke. I'm Clarence Mostly. Mostly fine furniture company, right? Yes, that's us. Mostly oak trees, too. My grandfather invented them, you know. I see. Well, no, he didn't invent mostly oaks, but he did purchase the naming rights back during the terraforming days. It's essentially the same thing. The last known staff member on Project Gorgon. Oh. <clears throat> then you're not here about my monograph. It's true. I was involved with Project Gorgon, but that chapter of my life is long since closed. I mean, I guess that's Listen, how you lost your eye. I don't know what you want with Gorgon or with me, but let me give you some free advice, hmm? Let the past go. Live in the moment. Enjoy the party. You want to keep living in the moment? Show me how to lift the emergency lockdown. I was lockdown. wondering if you were the sort of person to accept sensible advice or respond with threats of violence. Thank you for resolving that ambiguity for me. You're welcome. Lifting the lockdown won't be easy. You'll need to send overrides from the chem lab and human inquiry. I don't have that level of clearance, but I know two people who do. The trouble is, I don't know you. I don't trust you. I washed my hands of Gorgon, and you're asking me to dirty them all over again. I'm going to need a good reason. Let me think. Project Gorgon created the Marauders. Yes, the birthplace of the Marauders. And a graveyard for all our mistakes. Starting Project Gorgon was our first mistake. Trying to bury Project Gorgon while it's still very much alive and clawing its way back to the surface? That may be our last mistake. I'm just trying to uncover the truth. I advise against trying to dig up what's been buried. Sooner or later, you're going to draw up something rotten. And what else is new? I want a favor from you. Do something for me, and I'll do something for you. That way, oh. we don't have to rely on mutual trust. A grand prize trophy to the Canid Review. I want it in my hands. Get me that trophy, and I'll give you the remaining researchers. Names, locations, as much information as I have. I thought it was over. Yes, but the winner is still in deliberation. Committee won't deliver a result for another six to eight weeks. <laughs> Bureaucracy. 
Long time. The trophy's being held in a vault at the other end of this hall. Find a way inside, disable any security, lift, carry, deliver. Simple as that. Fine, all right. What? Really? You'll do it? I mean, just like that? <laughs> Don't you want to know why I asked you? Because you're insecure and you want a trophy to feel better well, about you're yourself? you're technically correct, which is my favorite kind of correct. No, that's not why. My canid, Laplace, is statistically superior to every other canid in this review. Better average sprinting time, superior gate coefficient, optimal anatomical symmetry. I didn't bother entering little Laplace in this pointless contest. He's already won on paper, you see. That trophy rightfully belongs to him. I'll be back. Head into the main hall and take the elevator down into the maintenance tunnels. You'll find a service passage that leads up into the trophy room. Oh, okay. The maintenance tunnel is the only way up into the trophy room. Some technician barred the door shut on our end. Ask Tilda Coatsworth about it, over by the podium. Okay, I know what I'm Oh, doing. you're quite welcome. I look forward to observing your results. Anyway. That door, huh? It's not canid hunting, I object to. Down we go. Mind if I do? Well, you know, I could pull out a new gun. Oh wait, no, I have to equip it. You could have that. Let me give you. Do that. And that. There we go. There we go. She'll enjoy that. Make him there we go. Time for a drink. Shortcut. Wait, there was something else I could unlock, I think, around here. This door.
Stealing from these assholes is its own reward. Though I'm sure clowns very much appreciate this trophy. You don't have to be scared of these canids, Captain. I don't think they're gonna hurt you. I'm not scared. Yeah, you know anything about Dead that? Canids in the service tunnels. Domesticated canids? Why, that's utterly revolting. I'm right there with Good. you. I should hate to think I've misjudged your character. Every canid, regardless of their physical attributes, is a companion to their master. To kill a companion is a profound and unforgivable breach of trust. I'm glad I chose not to participate in this loathsome... Well, today's your lucky My day. My trophy! Look at this thing! Have you ever seen a more garish monument to the boredom of the elite? If only Grandfather Mostly were alive today, I would have loved to wave this trophy right in front of his cataracts. I hope you won't take it personally when I say I had my doubts about you. Nothing ever gets done in Byzantium, you see. Competent tell. work is, well, a statistical anomaly. No, I expect to keep your end of the bargain. Lifting the emergency lockdown requires overrides from the chem lab and human inquiry. Access to those facilities requires authorizations from two senior level researchers. Marion Blakesley, Jasper Lowe. They went into hiding after the project collapsed, but I've managed to calculate their last known whereabouts within a reasonable margin of error. That's good. Show me your map. I see you're familiar with my technique. I'd love to show you my numbers, but there aren't nearly enough napkins in this room. So just get some. After you're the rich. project shut down, I had to keep my mind occupied. I worked on my actuarial tables, calculated the average lifespan of a spacer's choice worker, that sort of thing. I realized some of the researchers had to be alive. I ran some numbers, did a little research, and concluded that the two most likely survivors are Marion Blakesley and Jasper Lowe. So they're the only ones left. As far as I know, Jasper Lowe and Marion Blakesley are the only two surviving researchers with high-level clearance. Oh, okay. If you want to lift the lockdown on the manufactory, you'll need to send an override from the chem lab and human inquiry. I'm afraid it's the only way. That's all I need to know. Try to exercise caution. Aw, oh, you're looking out you for me? You did fetch a trophy for my little applause. Technically, that makes you my canid servant. And by the transitive property of employment, my responsibility. There we take care. There we go. Let's see here. Okay. Let's get off this planet. All right. Where should I Someone go has first? A message on your terminal, Captain. I was unable to trace a message. How can I have? 
I if you don't have a think of it as being in when I said traveling this do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge wow a jolt to the system I have felt that I do feel does, that. she does feel huh as you may be aware Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of in our travels together Alex liked to pass time by as he called it tinkering to improve my design Is that another captain you mean was Captain Hawthorne my first yes he was hmm anyway how what would you I Okay, so here to there. Okay. Why do I get the feel? Hey, you! Hey, you! You serious? Get back here! So, uh, hey, you trespass, and I'm armed. Maybe take a second look at your life choices, pal. Is that a Rizzo's uniform? It used to be, but I'm not with Rizzo's anymore. I'm one of the gardeners now. All of us kept the peace for the corpse once, but we got tired of being used. I wouldn't have pegged you for a horticulturalist. Hey, I like to get my hands dirty. It's just a name. Old lady we work for, she likes plants. We're here to keep the streets clean. <sighs> Hallways. You know what I mean. Anyway, Blakesley's given us standing orders to strongly discourage anyone who tries to come in. I like to, uh, extrapolate from there. Clearly we could come to terms. Blakesley's pretty sweet. We get paid and we get fresh greens every week. My gums never looked healthier. Your armor certainly hasn't either. <laughs> to meet my mother. <laughs> oh, I've only had enough. Alright, see you around. Some days. They're on us. No, Fine. Damn. Let's try. Hey, you. Over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's Riz. Uh, so, uh... I'm looking for someone. Yeah, I know that lady. I know she's looking for, uh, solitude. She hired us to make sure no one comes sniffing around. Guess that's bad news. Well, I'm sure she'll make an what, exception. five years? Pretty sure she's serious about a little stint in solitary. Anyway, Blakesley's given us standing... Strongly... Like to... I'm gonna title this into your talk.
Oh, hey, Salazar. Welcome to the show. As you can see, I'm trying to find this person, and I need to get past all these guards. Let's try. Hey, you. Over here. Whoa, whoa. Does Rissus know you're butchering the slogan? Report me? All of us kept the pe Yeah. Huh? Anyway. This deal with Blakesley's might Well, that's different then. Look, she's got some cr clear, guys. Someday. Smooth, Captain. Very smooth, huh? There, huh? All right then. Fine, let's do this. Okay, let's go. Ah, this is all. Okay. Down we go. Process secure. Oh shit! That's... Sorry about that. Naturally. Let's see, how good is this pistol? Hmm, pretty decent. Oh yeah, I'll let you hold on to that. You hear that humming? Like some kind of generator. It is a generator. So who the fuck? Oh, wait, hang on, I can't hear a damn thing. Probably because of all the generators. Shut this thing off. Right. Mary and Blakes, what can I do for you, Mr. Home Invasion? I need to get to the HIA facility on Gorgon. Spacer's Choice send you? Gorgon? I hold up in a forgotten cargo bay of a rotting colony ship just so I could never hear that name again. But here you are. I tracked down clones mostly. That, that got bastard. me on your trail. Is he still only mostly worthless? Or has he achieved mathematical perfection in that regard? Hey, you figured out what you were hmm. hiding. His predicted data. If I were on Byzantium, I'd have strangled him. Clearance lacks the attention span for this sort of thing. Someone wants to dig up the past, and you're the shovel, right? Hmm. I'm after Olivia Ambrose's journal. And so, 
Long way to go for notes on a failed project. Corporate demanded a product they could throw onto shelves. That put the squeeze on low at CAM to develop formulas. Samples. But how do you know if the product works? You run tests, see what happens. That's where human inquiry and auditing came in. I ran HIA and HIA ran the tests again and again and again. And what happens is a whole lot of wasted time and even more bodies. So what was Space's Choice testing You've for? heard the adverts, right? Work day and night, still feel refreshed the next morning. Now what we tested for was dexterity, efficiency, So compliance. they were trying to completely negate sleep, good employee. Huh? Numbers never came out right. I could have pumped gallons of those chemicals into every living soul in this colony. Wouldn't have changed that. What we got was marauders. But then Space's Choice shut down the whole operation. We had a few weird accidents, escapes, minor setbacks. But one day, all the test subjects got loose. Sabotage, they said. It wasn't just us. All of the facilities got hit hard. Shut us down for a while. That turned out to be the last straw. Did you set them loose? No. Ain't that kind of story. Spacer's Choice wasn't getting much use out of us anymore, so they shuttered the project. Kicked Adrena time out the door. And I came here. What can you get me inside, HIA? I'm just a scientist. What do you want out of this investigation of yours? Trying to liven up your memoir? Someone should know what Space's Choice did. Really? What good? Your crew feel the same? Heck of a world out here for the shy types. What do you get out of headbutting murderous auto mechanicals for your captain here? A family. Or something near to it. We don't always get along or nothing, but what family does? Fair enough. That's all I've got. Here. I still have this pass. Hey, don't there we go. Feel like hanging on to it anymore. Made my exit the moment the project started falling apart. Had to steal some credentials. This should get you into the volunteer induction entrance. You must have known this facility Come pretty on. well. I've left it behind me. Fine, I'll check it out yeah, myself. Yeah. I'll make there we go. Get that. Now I'm out of here. That's a big upgrade. I like that. Oh wait, actually, I could have just fast traveled back. Okay. terminal huh so maybe <laughs> little weezer Grenade launcher, huh?
All right. Time to head back. I don't know what kind of mess Baser's choice made. Okay, let's head over there. Here we go. ankles in it. Mm hmm something here. Let's see, take that. Alright. Oh shit, she's dead. Subjects. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Okay, there we go. Moment, huh? Let's see. Wait, that's stronger. Holy shit. Ah, damn. Revamped, huh? There we go. Wait. Ah, oh, shit, that's right. I can only swap them if I have a better opt. God damn it. Hold on, let me uh, see if I can reload. Smells like a marauder's armpit. Oh, law. Uh, it reeks like death warmed over. I'm gonna hurl. Oh, 
There we go. Yeah, let me just... There we go. Got that taken care of. Volunteer quarters? I've slept in cargo holds nicer than this. Oh, me. Almost. Whatever brought these folks here, they were just people. Same as us. Okay. I think that's all the goods in here. Now let's go ahead and I didn't see the helmet, did I? Oh, that's... Okay, that's also 49. Alright. That's, that's fine then. You can have that, Ellie. You can wear it. Hmm, don't think she can. Let's see. Oh, that's why. Equip. That makes sense. There we go. Hmm. Access restricted? I wonder why. Okay. Open sesame.
again. There we go. That worked. Whoa. There's one more. Oh, it's a droid. It's a and it's stuck. Idiot. Agony, huh? That's a lot. Oh wait, skip one.
Okay. Dr. Blakely. Subject demonstrates. <laughs> Catastrophic personality collapse. Uh, fucker bit me. Marion. <sighs> Interesting. I think I'm going into shock. Huh. That's quite the reaction to going into shock. Why do I get the feeling we haven't seen the worst of this place? So I think I gave Parvati a similar gun. Yeah, I did. Okay. I want to see no more. I, I can't take this. I'm washing my memory out with a bottle of Spectrum Red once we're back on the hmm. They definitely did some weird shit in here. Hmm. Okay. Shortcut. Ah, the administrative level. That's where I was supposed to go. How do you delete this message? I don't know, you ask me. Did you enjoy the show? I didn't. Oh, I most certainly did. Someone died. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Bancroft resigned. I knew this place wasn't going to be some pleasant seaside stroll, Captain, but I... I don't know how I can live with what we've seen here. What they did here was inexcusable. All this cruelty done to regular working folks without even a shred of regret. And what's dogging me is... Why? They knew, Captain. Spacer's Choice knew all along what Adrena Time did, and they sold it anyway. This doesn't surprise Only me. their handguns were as deadly. Maybe Miss Ambrose can help fix things once she's cleared her family name. She could hold the board's feet to the fire. Make them pay. Let's get back to finding that journal. There we go.
what they did here. I ain't ever gonna shake this. All right. So that's one thing taken care of. Now let's go see. Hey, back here. Captain, an unknown vessel is approaching our ship. Uh oh. Their intentions are currently indeterminate. Once I deduce their intentions, I will play one of two audio signals. A cheerful fanfare if they are friendly, alarms if they are hostile. Oh, okay, that's... Their intentions are no longer unknown. They're gonna attack. At precisely this moment, Captain, the unknown vessel has deployed a boarding mechanism. That sound indicates that a boarding mechanism has... Hey. Captain, I am pleased to... Finally, some Captain action. Hawthorne installed a lethal shock trap. Ooh. So when he said we had a Marauder Defense System back at Emerald Vale. I was bluffing, Captain. When we met it, the invading ship appears to be a decommissioned storage vessel. The crew are... I wish they bought them dinner that first. That is unlikely. Judging by the state of the invading ship and the competence of the boarding party, I deduce they are incapable of paying for dinner. No, they're trying to rob me, huh? The ship is using a tracking device too sophisticated for their primitive astrogator. I can... If you prefer to make an escape, I can disable their boarding mechanism. However... You can get us out of you? How? I am capable... This is a temporary... I'll deal with him. Understood, Captain. Now initiated more welcome protocol. Oh, that's how. Okay. Let's see here. Felix, like so you can have that. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, you could have that. Sawed off shotgun, huh? Well, you can have that. And that. Oh, 
That is a pretty decent machine gun. You know what? Yeah. You can have that, Max. I mean, Felix. Okay. Let's break some of this stuff down. Uh, this stuff. Ooh! Random handling is really strong. God damn, alright. Let's do that. Let's give you this and I don't know what happened on the helmet. We have that for now. Ah, that's why my game crashed. Yeah, I should have figured. Well, at least it was about to crash. That's why I was acting up. That's the first quest I've gotten so far. Suppose it took me that long. Let me see. Okay, all that's swapped around. Now let me just check. Max, you can have that. And I'll take this helmet. I keep calling him Max, it's Felix. And yeah, you can have that. You could take some of that armor. Yeah, why not? You can have that helmet. Vicar for the time being. There we go. Now let me just. Just save. And all right, let's go. Time to invade a ship. Let's do 
Skip for audio break, she's connecting through a bit. Felix, you're up. Hmm. That's decent. Why not? Okay. Not Vader, so I'll just uh, kind of take those stuff. I'm sure these marauders wouldn't mind if I just hack their good stuff. They are kind of invading me after all. Grenade launcher two. Hmm. Well, why not? You could have that. And yeah, I think you're like a machine gun. Don't mind if I do. Ooh. Let me see. We could have mine. Actually, yeah, that's that definitely is weaker than mine. Um uh, I'll hold on to that. You know. I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping you'd play by the rules. We could have well, had a good old-fashioned boarding. 
Just so you know. Now you're barging into my office, muddy and tracks all over my floor. A little respect for the ship. Is that too much to ask? Hey, you were putting my ship yeah, asshole. Yeah, but I had every intention of respecting the upholstery. I would have had you spaced or shot in the bathroom or something. You're the captain of the Unreliable. You dropped out of the sky in Emerald Vale, and whatever you've been doing on Gorgon, you've upset my employer. You and I are in a bit of a situation. I don't get paid unless you're dead. And a man's got to make a living. You understand. Hmm. Oh well. You're dead. I'll take that. Hmm. This was clearly a diversion for something. Anyway. Let's head down. Really good life machine gun. Okay. Problem solved. Okay, since I'm here, let's do some swapping around. Let's see. Yeah, you can take, you can take that. You can take that. All right. Time. Break that down. You have that. All right. Welcome back, Captain. Let's get going. Understood. Hmm. All right, I'll do that. Oh, yeah. Olympus. Okay then. Let's get going. We were hoping to find lower. Line. 
I suppose. Ah! Stop making that noise. I hear you. <laughs> Who's out there? Open up and I'll get you away from Olympus. Really? I would be indebted to you for life. I have a very trustworthy face underneath my myself. really Hold strong on. mask. I'm opening the door. Right. Let me just catch my breath. I swear my heart's trying to punch its way out of my chest. La, I'm so lucky you came along. I know it sounds crazy, but a little while back, I'd been gearing myself up to take a long walk off a short turbine platform. Then the security mechanicals broke out into a massacre, and I realized I... Well, I really want to live. How can I help you help me get out of here? Well... Let's see. Why is everyone Pink dead? Slip protocol. Okay, so they decided to terminate the team. How should Why? I know? I just monitor the front desk. Well, except for the last couple of days when I've been hiding out in here. If you work at Oops, you're doing research and development. Oops. If we're not researching or developing fast enough, the protocol's there to put the fear in us. Somebody messed up. When one of us makes a mistake, the whole facility pays for it. I know it sounds harsh, but it was in our contracts and everything. Because it is harsh. <laughs> Hold on. This place is called Oops. Yep. Olympus Orbital Pharmaceutical Station. Auntie Cleo's naming and branding department's the best in Halcyon. God, that is so stupid. But I expect that from the Crow Corporation. Anyway, um, I got a ship. Do I ever. Drop me off on the Groundbreaker and I'll be out of your hair in no time. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Here. This is my official laboratory headgear. I won't be needing it anymore, so it's all yours. Okay. Thanks, I guess. Hey, what would happen if this station fell into Olympus? Would we just keep falling forever? Does that mean? I don't know. I won't tell. That ain't gonna work. But that did. Okay, I need to find a key card. Card obtained. Now, what's in here?
Yates, where did I put the... almost forgot the... Ah, ah, ah. Shush. Talking. Concentrating. Oh, Damn you know. it. I almost had it. The formula was in my mind, and I almost had it. I was so close to a breakthrough, I could practically taste it. You really did pick the worst time to manifest. I'd appreciate if you come to your senses. I'm in a hurry. Oh, hang on. I see what's happening. You're real. That's Ergo, right. Ergo, not a hallucination. Last I checked. This is interesting. I have several questions for you. Let's start with the obvious. Who are you, and how are you even alive? Well, I don't know you either, Winthal. But anyway, I need access to no, the chem lab. No, you don't. There's nothing interesting in the chem lab. There's nothing interesting in Gorgon at all. Gorgon is a featureless I didn't rock even dragged along Gorgon. by the gravitational current oh, yeah, of actually, a barren I did, asteroid but still. belt. The chem lab is a graveyard. You won't find anything there but the dead. Someone's been wanting me to stay off Gorgon. Well, it wasn't me. I've been stuck in this place for ages. In any case, it's becoming obvious you're not listening to sensible warnings. If you've set your heart on exploring my old labs, I won't try to dissuade you. Indulge me with a favor, and I'll give you the access you want. Oh, really? The electromechanical turbine is offline. Oh, there Without we go. Without any power, I can't possibly Another continue my work. Be a deer and reactivate it for me. That's all I ask. Don't you think it's time to quit? Not that it's any of your business, but I don't get to quit. My colleagues are dead, and yet I live. So I don't get to quit. Damn. Take the elevator to the storm platform at the top of this... Okay. I should probably, uh... Think of that. Just a bit. Oh, I got something else. Just uh, since I have a ton of this stuff, um, there, perfect. Let's go. high up okay We're really going up top now aren't we whoa that one was close captain electrifying even Big bot.
Well, that did the trick. Uh. I think it's stuck. Well, that works for me at least. There we go. Okay. That's one. Hyper. Hmm. It's okay. We're not. The, we're not quite. Not that good though. You know, I gotta get up there. Oh, sorry. Take your best shot, asshole. <laughs> Oh, that works. Alright, my work here is done. And now... Activate. Perfect. My work here is done. Facilities back on the grid, and my pipes again floweth with the sweet, sweet essence of my salvation. I suppose I have you to thank for realigning the machine. Of course, of course, Jasper, you imbecile. All right, now get me inside the chem you lab. You need my voice to get into the chem lab. I'm obviously not coming with you, so I'm giving you a recording of my dulcet speech. Okay. This recording should get you into the chem lab. I hope whatever you're after is worth the trauma. I wouldn't go back there if I was higher than the mercury levels in a can of salt tuna. Wait, take my gun while you're at it. If you end up dying on Gorgon, benefits. there's a non-zero chance I'll feel partially responsible. Neither of us want that. Uh, it's what's the deal with security? Perhaps? I don't like the idea of going back to that place, to that life. I've helped you once, and I don't feel great about it. Fine. If... Again. All right. Let's go this way. Wait, I don't remember this area. System.
There we go. What's in here? Oh, here we go. This is the way back down. Alright. I'm out of here. Back to go again. Let's go. There, yeah, huh? Hmm. I guess you is the yeah, I guess he was the closest. Spot. Now keep your eyes peeled. Llama. What was that? Llama Alpa. They aren't the same. Enough. You're a captain. Excuse me, first. We're on the hunt for a package. Llama? That won't be. Could a fool. First mate? This. Hey, hear me. What's not to know? <laughs> I read all about llamas and. If you backtrack and take the right hand, he won't even let us. We're not get. All right. Don't. That's a side quest. Yep. Well, uh, a task. That's all right. Okay. Thank you. 
There we go. That takes care of them. Okay. In we go. This facility, please. We attest to the zest with our hand on our chest. Be impressed as our guest by what we've finessed. You are blessed to ingest what we thoroughly test. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Passphrase accepted. Access oh, okay. granted. Welcome. Well, here we go. Let's just... Right. So this is where Spacer's Choice's top lab coats made their wonder drug? Yep, looks like a mess. There we go. There we go.
Let's check this cave. Solves it. Isn't the point of a secure off-world lab to keep things like that out? Well, then it seems like they're not doing a very good job. wasn't out of ammo, but just didn't have to reload. There we go. Okay. That wasn't so bad.
There we go. That's probably a way out. And so's that. A lot of options to choose from. But right now, let's go in here. Yeah, this is where that uppity lab coat worked, huh? Oh, that probably means I have to work. Yeah, I should probably, uh... There we go. got no shortage of creepy science labs, boss. But this place? There's something real twisted about this place. Yeah, there is. I've seen some reckless operations, but here? It's like they were trying to get people killed. Well, what would I expect from a space choice expect operation? The choice is exploitation of the common worker. But what they did here? Made a drug that turned regular people into marauders? This is evil. I know I didn't say much, the in spacer's choice and all, but Doc Lowe and his team was their best and brightest. How could this happen? You probably didn't start out this all way. All it takes is a few slack wits at the top for even a good job to go south. I don't know if anybody's going to take the fall for what happened here. Could be Miss Ambrose if she's not careful. That's why we're helping her. Ah, they're all above 50, so let's see. Get out of here. Let's get out of here. This place stinks like machine grease and bad sun. Okay, I need to go there. Trash dump.
Okay, yeah, I gotta get down. If I want to get to that terminal. Let's see. Oh, that certainly worked. Elevator. Doctor, I'd say you've got a 6% chance of surviving the fall. I feel like this elevator needs a concession stand. There we go. Oh, okay. Let's not jump in that. In we go. We're in the SMM Center. <laughs> hmm. Nice digs. Welcome to the Adrena Time. This productivity auto mechanical unit is, however, due to the promotion, demo, reception, human resources, accounting. Technical support. So everything. Please okay. direct any. According to the specific. Not to worry. If a mid. Uh oh. It looks like there are. Management stretched thin. That's. After all, how can I increase. Spacer's Choice likes to maintain hmm. a positive work that. environment. So if you have to. Oh, okay. Wait. Uh -huh. Oh, I could get help from Pam, huh? Happy? How can I? What's the, the Adrena Time Synthesis and Manufactory? You are now in the lobby. The floors below you are. How can I? So Pam you're helps protect... each and every member of the Spacer's Choice family be. You actually Don't charge think of Pam people. Is your boss. With Pam at the head. How do you keep people Feeling more productive? Down, Pam is low. Schedule slip. You'll be a team. Uh oh. With a 98 point. How can I increase? Did you know that keeping your workers alive? When Pam's emergency combat warning. Due to Pat Spacer's choice policy. Hmm. 
Pam is fully customizable to fit some limitations. Hate messing with tangled cables or confusing out of batteries. And Let's give it a shot. Emergency combat protocols can please ensure that this unit is full. Hmm. How can I increase? I wonder. Interesting. The facilities office, huh? Time to bust my moves. Here we go. Hello right. there. Empl How can I engage emergency, emergency combat, protocols? Please ensure this unit's power rating is error. Employees biometric ID. Pretend that this PAM unit is one of your employees who has been working long hours. It's right around the corner. To talk about your career goal. My door is always a verbal management test complete. Engaging emer Hey, that worked. Okay. Can't buy taste. I'm surprised this fountain still works. Oh, yes, let's check the restroom. Yep, it's a restroom, all right. Yeah, why not? That's oh, right. Who cares? Hiding. 
security patrol. <laughs> Oh shit, I got cornered. Damn, that sucks. Okay. All right. Let's see what I could do here. we go. Oh, this is certainly saving me time. You're right! 
Okay, I didn't. Yeah, your blood. Oh, this will do quite nicely. Fancy looking staircase. Mind your step, boss. Quiet. Huh? Oh, there you are. but I can get in here. Ah, workbench.
Oh yeah, that's right. Let's see, flamethrower. Yeah, let me make this an even a thousand. Yeah, that works. All right. Gotta be Ambrose's office. We're close, yep. Captain. Definitely the office. Let's see what stuff she was saying. That's a lot of messages. Finally got that Jono. Now let's get out of here. Lockdown. Ah, elevator. We got what we needed. Now to go um, tell, give Minnie this journal. See what happens. We are receiving an incoming signal, Captain. Oh, we are. Captain, I see you've made some headway on Gorgon. Mother's old work terminal just lit up with a bunch of new protocols. Very exciting. What about Mother's journal? Any progress there? I think it's time you tell Are me you the truth. Are you accusing me of deception? Captain, I would never. Can you hear me, Captain? I'm getting some interference on my end. Captain. Captain! I don't like that tone of voice. Hello again, little weasel. Olivia? I must admit, you've surprised me. 
I threw nearly so everything you're still alive, I had huh? And you you're the one trying to impede my process, huh? Well spotted, Captain. We've both played our roles well. But it seems you've got the edge. I may have gravely underestimated you. May you have. smart to hire him, Wilhelmina. Well done. Mother! You're alive! And I'm still on Gorgon? And she's been a real thorn in my side since Something I got here. Something tells me we've only seen the beginning. This is so you, Mother. Inserting yourself where you aren't needed and at the worst possible time. <sighs> Am I disrupting your vanity project, you empty-headed little twit? Let him talk. Have you come back just to ruin everything again, Mother? At least this time, I have the power to stop you. Captain, this is a distraction. Let's set our differences aside and focus on what matters. Adrena time must never be revived. Oh, that's what this was about. Okay, I see. You wanted to revive Adrena time. I may not have told you all of the facts, but I'm going to lay out everything I know. You can decide for yourself what to do with it. By now, you realize that Project Gorgon was devoted to a single drug, Adrena Time. A drug that hit the market in spite of calamitous side effects. And in spite of its deranged and responsible researchers. Quite right. There's no end to the harm a poorly run team can do, even with the best of intentions. The project was a colossal failure, but you and I are going to revive it from the ashes. After everything I've seen, absolutely not. What you've seen is the result of Mother's leadership. I have no intention of repeating her mistakes. Mother's journal contains the activation codes for the Adrena Time Synthesizer, the key to a new Project Gorgon. We're going to start again, and this time with everything Project Gorgon didn't have. Better R&D, better scientists, clear goals, more funding, and a timeline that makes sense. And who's going to provide it? Who else? Spacer's choice. After I showed them the error of their ways, the corporation couldn't wait to restart the project. If I can improve the chemistry, I can fix Adrena Time. We can put this colony back on track together. Lie to me. Idiotic sociopath. Why would I help you now? I needed to keep this quiet. Spacer's Choice shut down Adrena Time once. I didn't want to give them a reason to do so again. Listen to yourself. Adrena Time ruined lives. It killed people, changed them. And now Halcyon buckles beneath the yoke of my failure. We can't risk opening Pandora's box a second time. What about my life, Mother? The Ambrose name has no dignity anymore. I can't even show my face around Byzantium without being the gossip of the town. Oh, of course. You've got to be fucking kidding me. It's no laughing matter, Captain. What good can I do if I have no influence? How influence. can I fix society if I can't That's even take out a loan? That's what you want. Every day workers slump over from exhaustion. The gears of industry swallow them whole, and no one is coming to help. Adrena time is the break we can't fit into the schedule. The office with a window we can't afford to build. It's the best this rotten colony can do for people. Drugs are the best you can do. It's a bandage, not a cure. Halcyon is wounded, and I will do everything in my power to stop the bleeding. This is going to make things let worse. Those bloodless leeches at Spacer's Choice walk you down this perilous path, Wilhelmina. You haven't the fortitude to endure it. As usual, Mother projects her failures onto me. If she had let me get involved from the start, we might have avoided this calamity altogether. And how do you, how do you know you're not going to make things worse? Yeah, actually, I do want to know. What would you have done that she didn't? I'd have trusted my team rather than sabotage their efforts. 
And I wouldn't have stolen their glory when they were on the verge of success. You don't know what you're talking about. I did everything to support my team. It was Spacer's choice who betrayed them. But you're nothing more than an empty-headed little social climber. Of course you can't understand. You see what I mean? Mother is afraid of being outdone by her empty-headed daughter. And she'll do anything to stop me. If I can save the colony and redeem the Ambrose family name, I owe it to myself to try. Mother be damned. What good do you think you can do? With Adrena time, we can increase worker productivity orders of magnitude above ordinary stems and risk none of the harmful side effects. Imagine if we flooded the market with drugs that actually helped people. We could influence the very business model of Spacer's Choice. So the Halicon's problem is cruelty, not productivity. We won't be exploiting workers any longer. We'll be celebrating them, giving them everything they need to succeed. No, this is madness. The project, the complex, it has to be destroyed, razed to the ground. It's the only way. I agree. Gorgon is a cautionary tale. We agree on that much. But if we go into this with open eyes, then history doesn't have to repeat itself. I need that facility online, but I can't do it while Mother's still a problem. By now, she'll have shut down the Gorgon reactor. Deal with her however it suits you, and get that facility back up and running. Don't do this, Wilhelmina. Minnie, don't make this choice. Adrena time is our future. It's bigger than money, bigger than family. It's the colony's best hope. I want no part in your family oh, drama. We haven't been a family in ages. If Mother tries to get in your way, you have my permission to defend yourself, no matter the cost. This is absurd. You must end this madness, Captain. I agree. <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of into it, but nah, it has to be put down. I'm glad you see things clearly. Here's what you must do. Return to my family's manor, Captain. Use the executive override code in my journal to activate the NDA protocol for my terminal. NDA, huh? It will destroy okay. the Gorgon drug synthesizer and put an end to Adrena time for good. I'll do whatever it One takes. One last thing. Minnie. She... She will try to force you to fight her. You don't have to. In fact, I would ask you not to. Whatever mistake she might make, she... She is still my daughter. Captain, in light of recent events, I'm putting the manor under lockdown. Until Mother is dealt with, anyone who lands here is presumed hostile. Finish the job. We'll see. See, decisions, decisions. Yeah, I'm getting rid of this drug for good. I don't 
think we're getting a warm welcome this time. Best watch out. Yeah, let me uh see what stuff he has. Okay. Take that. We're coming. Good. Processing. We can handle Putting an end to this. I'm gonna put an end to this and I'm gonna rob the place in the process as I do it.
warn you not to set foot. Let's talk about There's this. There's nothing to just. You wasted your time coming here, and worse, you wasted mine. But I won't let anything stand in the way of progress. What if you and your mother join forces You'll to kill him? You surprise me, Captain. Once we. If you fix it. There's always the possibility you'll make it worse. The days of the old Adrena time are... Hmm. Guess I can't. Stand down, Stand then. Stand down? I think not, Captain. People want to buy clean drugs, and I want to sell them. Under my leadership, Adrena time will live up to its promise. Unlike certain mothers. Don't force my hand. Farewell, go you finished it captain you've put gorgon down once and for all i only wish that minnie had seen reason the good we could have done together join me for a toast in the drawing room i do believe you're due a reward yes yes ready, i am captain I still don't trust her. Yeah, I don't either. Hand to law, Captain. I mean you no harm. It's a date. No, it most certainly is not. Quit fooling around and meet me upstairs. Oh, shut up. I'll have a drink. Yeah, level 30, all right. A new perk, let's see. Ooh, confidence. Let's see. Cave, huh? There we go.
this unit can help itself. Fine, let's go finish this expansion up. Although, since I have the kitchen key card. The celebration is in order. The I Gorgon so. project is dead, and we are not. I didn't do this for you. Your motives interest me less than your actions, Captain. What matters is that when forced to choose sides, you picked Halcyons. I meant what I said. You're right. I'm sorry. Old habits of debate die hard. Though, of course, that's no excuse. It's funny. When Spacer's Choice released Adrena Time to the public and began the Marauder Crisis, and I sabotaged all the Gorgon facilities, I thought that was the end for me. Then you came along and changed everything. I suppose. I find myself at loose ends now, Captain. What happens next? Where's my reward? The satisfaction of a job well done isn't enough for you? Of course not. I'm only joking, of course. Please take this That's with reasonable. my thanks. It's not much, but you deserve recognition for your efforts. I know your crew played no small part in this as well. Really? No more prepare to die, little weasel? Hmm. Thanks are always welcome. Remuneration, more so. Halcyon owes you both a tremendous debt. Thanks for saying we so. We couldn't undo the damage Spacer's Choice did to the colony, but we stopped them from ever doing it again. Well. It's time we stop looking back and turn our eyes to the stars. Where will the future lead? I'll take it hour by hour. Plan for nothing and you'll never fail. Expect nothing and you'll never be disappointed. Believe me, I'm beginning to see the appeal. In any Not case, like I, tell her my true motives. I do believe this is the end. Law willing. Adrena time is dead for good, and the Marauders will die out with it. Goodbye, Captain, and thank you again. May the stellar wind be ever at your back. Good luck. <laughs> All right, let me head back to my ship. drinks this silly little guy uh, but all right with that I think I'll call it quits here for today yeah I'll save this second expansion murder and Iridanos, for next time so yeah if you enjoy the stream, make sure to follow me on Twitch and follow me on Twitter. This VOD will be uploaded to my personal YouTube channel where you can check out all my other VODs. Oh, and you should subscribe to my main channel, The Crew. I've got a couple more things that will mean some buddies of mine. Oh, and join my Discord. It's pretty epic. But yeah, in any case, though, thank you all for watching and hopefully I'll see you again next time.